Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, go Hustle lot, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see with the negativity but I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and put them on display On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain Ooh. Never slow yourself down, you can push some more Push past, start a pain, and you'll find a door Open it up, and finally explore Everything that you thought you could never do before uh. And even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 Summer Grind, episode six, baby. What up? All right, in this episode, we're gonna talk about some of the horrible advice fitness influencers give. Um, and just talk about, you know, Instagram versus reality. Um, and yeah, I, uh, again, fitness influencers in general, it's, a, it's an amazing thing, like, because, this new this platform of social media and specifically the fitness sphere um, it's amazing that people can do this that people can post content of what they love to do and inspire people from all around the world to also start their fitness journey um, but there's also some some downsides to it too so today we're going to touch on those all right uh, i'll catch you soon uh, i just i just finished a workout i'm getting my my evening sun that I like to get to just um, promote recovery. Like I said in my last video, um, sunlight later in the day, specifically after 4 to 5 p.m. Uh, in the summer too, because it's out for so long, is it's more beneficial than red light therapy. It's very good for, for pain, inflammation, just recovery. It, it's good for your cells and um, making them more efficient to produce ATP, which is the energy your cells use to function. So. That's what I'm doing now. I'm probably then gonna go home and eat, so I might not talk to you guys till tomorrow. Um, but we got we got another week of training and uh, some juicy topics to talk about. So stick around. All right, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>
right, I'm about to smack this pizza. Um, but I, first topic I wanted to touch on in this video um, is a lot of fitness influencers promote really high protein and low carb diets and this is not necessarily the best if your goal is to add muscle and, and size and strength and that's because carbohydrates are the easiest um, fuel source for your body to process and turn into cellular energy. Um, so in other words, carbs create a very anabolic environment in the body. They, they help your body um, replenish energy and replenish the glycogen after you work out really hard. And it's much more stressful for your body to process protein um, and turn that into ATP. It's very, there are much less steps for your body to turn carbohydrates into ATP. Um, and ATP is what your cells use to produce energy. So you need carbs um, in order to get big and strong. All right. That pizza was unreal. All right, so just to finish touching on this topic. Um, carbs build a very anabolic environment. If your goal is to build muscle size and strength and you want to perform at your best, you have to eat a lot of carbs, especially if you are doing a lot of strenuous activity like exercising hard. Um, eating carbs lowers the stress in your body because it's the easiest for your body to to replenish the energy that you just burnt. Um, so carbs are essential for performance and for muscle growth. Um, they are very anabolic. Um, and then, now that's not to say high protein, low carb diets have their place for sure when you wanna lose weight and just look absolutely shredded. Um, but most of the time, especially for natural athletes that don't have the help Yes, of, of PEDs. Uh, most of the time you should be consuming a lot of carbs most of the year. Only at certain points, at very specific points, should you lower your carb intake drastically um, because it, that increases the stress on your body. If you're working out really hard and eating a low carb diet, your body is gonna be way too stressed out to build muscle and, and gain size and strength. So um, carbs are anabolic, don't let don't let social media fool you. There is a time and a place for a low carb diet, but most of the time, most people that are trying to add size and strength should be, should be eating most of their calories from carbohydrates.